So most movies we watch. I mean, that's it. We, we just watch. We watch the movies. But at film streams, it's more like an experience. Yeah, specifically with their special screenings where they bring in people directly involved in the making of a film or related to those who made oh, it. Oh, they're bringing in people, all right. Back <laughs> with us today, Film Streams Executive Director Rachel Jacobson. Hey, Rachel. Good, good to have you back. Hi, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's always good to have you here. Appreciate so, it. a neat series on Thursday nights, though, right? You've got. Uh, uh, this is going to run for a few months. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to run for a couple months. Yeah, it's called the Hitchcock Nine, and um, so Hitchcock made a bunch of silent films uh, before the talkie era, mm -hmm. you know, in the twenties. And this one's called The Lodger. It's really amazing. And the thing about them is that they don't have soundtracks to them, so we get them and they're so totally quiet. silent. And a lot of them, you know, we don't know what the original soundtrack was. They, there was just a pianist, you know. There was just someone that who would be in the theater. Was in the theater, yeah. and so we have commissioned different music musicians for each one and they are composing scores. So for this one, uh, Simon Joyner, who's a mm -hmm. musician in town, he got together with a few friends and he, they're calling themselves the Ghost Collective. Yeah. They, they made a band name for The Lodger <laughs> and, um, and they're going to perform with this one. And um, I think that one's towards the end of March. Um, but yeah, so there's seven different events um, and it starts this Thursday. Mm -hmm. It starts uh, Thursday the 13th. And the, the first one is the only one that doesn't have a live score. That right. one actually has a score attached. It does. But the rest of them, um, we're bringing in this guy who uh, does. Uh, silent film accompaniment all over the world. He's an internationally renowned guy, but then the rest of them are all amazing local musicians. This is neat. Is um, cool. Let's switch gears a little bit. What's happening tonight and who are you bringing in? Tonight, Nick Fackler is coming. So Nick Fackler, he is a director from Omaha. Have you guys had him on the show before? No, no but no. I'm oh, smiling you should. at you. Oh, uh -huh. You definitely should. He's, he's really great. He made this movie called Sick Birds Die Easy. And um, he, his earlier film, he made it 25, and it starred Martin Landau and Ellen Burstyn. Wow. It was a really big deal. And um, so this is his second film, which is a little bit more experimental. Um, <laughs> that's, is that him? He, no, that's, no, that's not, not that's him. That's a actors. friend of his. Yeah, yeah. There, it's sort of like a documentary slash fiction film, um, and it's basically the whole crew goes to Africa and um, tries to have some interesting new experiences. Um, <laughs> well, when you say experimental to describe it, yeah, I feel like anything yeah, goes at that point. It's, it's a little psychedelic. It's a little wild. Uh, but so he'll be there tonight along with a lot of the cast and crew, and um, it'll be a big premiere, and we'll show the yeah, film. and that's awesome. Q&A. Okay, so that's Q &A. tonight. And then mm -hmm. one week from tonight, you have something else going on as well. Yeah, one week from tonight, we're partnering with the Institute for Holocaust Education on the screening of this film called no Place on Earth. Mm -hmm. um, it's about um, Holocaust survivors who had to hide underground, mm -hmm. and um, it's a really interesting film. And one of the producers is coming to town, and he's going to talk afterwards. So it should be should be a little intense, but yeah. definitely an interesting night. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and then awful. on the 25th, another special screening. Yes, another special screening on the 25th. So that one is um, I'm really excited about uh -huh. this one. Three and a match, uh, which is. Um, this film, it's a pre-code film, early 30s, and um, it's uh, Margaret Talbot, who actually wrote the mm. New Yorker profile on yes. Alexander that came out in the fall. She had also recently written a book about her father, Lyle Talbot, who was a Hollywood movie star. Um, and so she's going to come back to town. We're going to partner with Downtown Omaha Lit Fest. Timothy Schaffer just, uh, he's been all over the news lately because he just uh, put his new novel out and Oprah picked it, actually. You oh, guys should did. have him on. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, which we is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. his new novel just came out. Oprah picked it. And um, he's going to interview Margaret Talbot, who um, has this book about her dad. And then we're going to show this movie that... Her this dad is, is cool. Is in. Yeah, so it's really it's cool. cool. And then you've got some other films in the hopper like for your family. Uh, yeah. friendly some series. Fun some fun pictures. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, um, yeah, we've got, um, obviously we're uh, finishing up the Frank Capra ones. Uh, we've got Mr. Deeds Goes to Town, and I think we've got one more showing of Mr. Smith that goes to Washington. And then we have big, uh, big I know, yeah, everyone, everyone our age. Listen, like, everybody yeah. loves this movie. Yeah. Yeah. The adults Tom remember Hanks. to see this yeah. in a theater yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. You know? I know, I know. And it'll be really fun for like people who grew up with this film. Remember the piano? Yes, yes. Well, this is a great oh, scene right here. Iconic. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And then some topic. premieres to talk about, too. Yeah, um, so we've got this one called Gloria coming up. Um, and uh, Gloria is a Chilean film, and it's about this middle aged woman who's dating and um, in Chile, and um, it's really well done. And then we also have um, an Iranian film called The Past coming um, pretty soon after that. 
Um, and we got some exciting news that, um, that we haven't really talked about all that much, but we're actually going to get the new Wes Anderson film, Grand Budapest Hotel. So that'll be at the end of March. Oh, I'm so awesome. excited yeah. for that. Are those hard to get? I mean, how do you get that? Well, you know, I mean, most of the films that we play are not hard to get at all because they don't usually have a screen in Omaha. Yeah. So they appreciate the fact that they're playing here. But every once in a while, we try to do like a bigger yeah. indie, and especially when it's by an important director like Wes Anderson, and we're really excited to play mm -hmm. it. Like that's, it's kind of like what Nebraska Nebraska was last year, and yeah, um, yeah and Bill That's Murray, awesome. and you know. I don't mean to throw you a curveball here. We were talking off the top of the show about Shirley Temple oh, um, yeah. passing last night. Yeah. How do you put her impact um, into perspective for yeah, people who I mean, just don't remember her work? You know, I think she's, uh, yeah, the, I mean, it's really sad and interesting. I mean, I saw what you were saying earlier mm -hmm. about her, you know, kind of right. saving In the studio. Short period because, of time. Yeah, as a little girl. yeah. She never yeah. acted really as an yeah, adult. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really, yeah, I mean, she was like, what, five years? old when she started? Yeah, seven, or? something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, really, really young. And so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think it's something about the movies entertaining during hard times, mm -hmm. you know, and someone like her who's so adorable and uh -huh. so funny and such a charismatic presence on screen. Um, yeah, I mean, she's, well, she's she was kind of a good legend. In some of those. Wasn't that amazing? Is, uh, yeah. She was so young, child. so talented. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all she right. was fantastic. Film streams. So we've covered a lot of Girl with Rachel. Yes. We didn't cover it all. <laughs> it's all listed, though, at filmstreams.org. If you have any questions, call the number. That's where you'll find film streams, right on the corner of 13th and Mike Fahey, on Twitter and on Facebook, and a lot happening. So get out of the cold, enjoy it. We'll see you real soon, Rachel. Thanks, okay, Rachel. thanks so much Thank for you. having me, guys. And